I am currently the only rank in this game of Bed Wars. I feel like I am the monarchy and I'm about to be overthrown by a bunch of peasants. High pixel Bed Wars. You know, every time I open up a new round of this damned game mode, I kind of have an existential crisis because I feel like I know everything that's gonna happen in the game before it actually happens. I know that someone is probably gonna bridge over my bed with like a 90 foot tall uh, like bridge or some giant tower in the sky and then place a place a TNT and then somehow live that drop and Then destroy my bed and I will have absolutely nothing that I can do to stop it This man is speed bridging which I'm pretty sure means that he's epic at the game I can see the end of the game very clearly I'm gonna be like fighting someone having an encounter and then he's gonna try and get a higher ground advantage above me And I'm gonna have to I don't know Pull some strat and he's gonna live on one heart. That was a very close fight. Good fight, sir. However, I'm sorry that victory has to be mine. Yes. And he's gonna keep going after me. You got it, dude. I believe in your abilities. Oh. Well, I didn't believe in my abilities enough, so. Oh, is he going to go for my bed? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh! He almost had it. But I can already visualize how I'm gonna die in this game, how it's all gonna end up. You know, it's it's not super clear, like I don't know who's gonna kill me, but I, I know that someone's probably gonna like stack over me or uh, live on one health, you know? It's, it's probably gonna happen. It's like I'm watching fate, like, unfold before my eyes, if it's, as if it's a little game that life is playing with me. And I'm powerless to do anything, I can just watch and think that I have any control. In reality, though, I have absolutely no control, and all of my decisions are influenced by some pristine power, such as lag spikes are one example. And, uh, yeah, cool, dude. Looks like I might lose my bed to a person with lag spikes. Cool, bro. No. There it is. There's my bed destroyed. Well, it wasn't by someone stacking over me with TNT, but... It was some sort of power that I had absolutely no control over, which was this man's 209 ping latency. Nice! Nice! Wow! That's... I, I just watched that happen. It was like, again, it's like a game that Fate is playing with me. I get to watch it all unfold before me. And I'm glad that this dude is happily sponsoring some Pride Month, uh... Pride Month uh, sayings and stuff like that. He's uh, showing some support for the LGBT community. It's really nice that we have some uh, all-around respectable Bed Wars players here. Oh, oh, is this a guy that's gonna try and kill me? Oh, dang. Oh, is he gonna stack up over me with TNT? Whoa! No way, dude. That's radical. You're cool. Yes, I... I love... Yes, I, this is my favorite game. I love... Fighting two people at once. Oh, he's just gonna go. You know what? I'm okay with that. You you can go over there. Use your TNT for someone else. I don't have to be the one that gets stacked above with TNT. It's gonna be the other guy. Thank God. All right. Uh, let's just go ahead and take a quick break from the game to... Uh, actually, I can't because I'm afraid this guy's gonna try and knock me off. I would like to briefly interrupt this game of Bed Wars for a quick little essay reading. So we've got Alabama is not epic on the yellow team. 46 star, pretty respectable player. Look, oh, by the way, right, right let's just resume this a little bit, uh, a little quickly because players stacking over each other in a game of Bed Wars. I have never seen that happen before and I'm glad that we're able to, oh my god. All right, but like we were timing out for, uh, we got here our essay from Alabama's Not Epic. You wait for me to get into a fight rather than getting the dude yourself, which was you was obviously going for, then go for me, reported cross-teamer. Are you okay in the head? You know, this, this dude is just, uh, like, flawless reasoning because the guy that had TNT wanted to go after him and not me. Go away. You know, I, I think I'm gonna have to pass on that one because you're kind of coming off as a little aggressive or I will come to kill you thanks bro I'm trying to go gray and this seems like cross teaming I do, you know what do you know what cross teaming is like I, I don't really know if you, you I don't know man like cool bro I'm, I'm glad we had this conversation I don't know if I should be angry if I should be worried if I should be laughing if I should be concerned I I'm feeling so many emotions right now, and it's because this game that is being put in front of me is just, it's its like watching a movie. I should get some popcorn at this point, because this is both hilarious and just really caught, giving me depression at the same time. Alright, he's going to man. He's got the knockback stick. Oh man, 
Really, really made a giant influence on that battle, dude. I'm so proud that you bought it. Reported hacker. So guys, I actually took English 3 AP this year, and I'm going to go ahead and say that this essay is definitely deserving a 9 out of 9, because this dude is just, I don't know how much more reasoning he can give. You know, I'm kind of sad that Gray has a bed, because this yellow dude is just cracking me up. I, you, that's why, it's why you play, this is why you play Bed Wars, dude. This is honestly... The only reason that you would ever play Bed Wars. Reported. Reported you right now, Gray. Reported. Oh, dang, dude. He's gonna get reported and banned. And I'm gonna get banned too because I'm a hacker. And all of that effort that you spent, all of that effort, completely transpired to the following kill message. Yellow team has been eliminated. Thank you so much for playing this absolutely treasure of game. I This guy's mind and fatigue. I'm, I'm bouncing. It's over, dude. It's over. It's over, dude. I can't, I actually can't win anymore. Although, see, the problem with this battle is that I ethically am not in the in the lead. This guy technically didn't do anything wrong, so I don't actually have any reason or moral obligation to kill him. Although, that was a pretty good battle overall. I'll take it. Now, the real question here is that I, well, I actually did do a lot of trash talking to the yellow dude, but he was, his death was basically imminent, let's be honest. But who, who is actually, you know, who would actually be deserving to win this game? Who would fate... You know, decide to make, uh, who would fate decide should win this game, you know? It's a great question. This guy... Alright, nice fireball, dude. And... All of your efforts have transpired into that single moment. Alright, well, I'm gonna place one TNT and get the... Get the hell out. Is he gonna... Alright, this is it. The final battle! Oh, dang! Who is it gonna be? Who's gonna... Who's... Uh, fate? I don't know, man. I was gonna make some speech. But hell yeah! Victory is sweet. Um... That being said, I probably am gonna get banned sometime soon, because I did, uh, unfortunately hack, uh, as this yellow dude, Alabama's not epic, said. Get, get me out of this auto-join. I'm not joining another game. I've had enough Bed Wars for today. Uh, Alright, well, thank you for watching my existential crisis in Bed Wars. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you didn't, leave it anyway, because, let's be honest, material gain on online social media platforms absolutely means nothing. And it requires you zero effort or little, to, little effort to uh, actually initiate that movement. So, I would like you to like and subscribe, please. And that's basically it. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.